Harnessing the power of water through gutters. They say an eco-friendly house can't be built in 150 days for $150,000, and I say it can. I'm Alan Smith. Join me as I push the limits with time, budget, and creativity with the Garden Home Challenge, exclusively on eHow Home. Okay, my gutter guy is uh, coming back on Monday, but there's a prediction of rain. And so what I wanna do is I wanna cover off this piece of the gutter because I don't want water coming off the roof and coming out this end onto our porch. I want the water to go that way. So anyway, what we're doing, I'm very excited about getting the guttering up and we're doing this old fashioned guttering. These old fashioned brackets attach to the fascia of the, of the house, you can see right here. And then what happens is they clip over this rounded piece of the guttering. And this guttering is a six inch rounded piece of guttering. And it's not the typical kind of guttering that you might see, say in the suburbs, that um, may be sort of square or have different shapes. Uh, this is really kind of utilitarian and was used back at the turn of the century and even earlier. And it's the same style guttering that I've used around the farm. So again, what I'm trying to do is use as many of the different kinds of materials that I've used on the property so that there's a consistency of look, and that's the reason for it. And as you can see, this is sort of a galvanized color, and I'm gonna leave it that color. And I like the fact that from a distance, it reflects the white that you see on the fascia board here, so you almost don't even notice that it's here. Now we have the guttering in place everywhere the water is gonna come down the standing seam roof. And then at the end, what we'll have is a downspout that will carry it down the side of the house and into a rain barrel because we're gonna collect, we're gonna harvest the rain that comes off this house. We're also going to have another gutter that will come off of the porch because the porch has the guttering that runs the full length of it. And we'll have downspouts that'll come down here and they'll also attach to the rain barrel. Now there's no way that we can harvest all of the rain that comes off of this house. Some of it will go underground through piping and will spill out into the woods and eventually end up in one of the lower ponds. Okay, so we'll be finishing up the gutters here in the next week and we're probably gonna get that rain, which brings me to the point of erosion. If I didn't have gutters, what would happen is the rain coming off this roof. I mean, we get torrents of rain that just pour and pour and pour. We can get several inches in an hour. And what it'll do is it'll just wash away the soil, the mulch, my landscaping that I may do here in the front. So gutters are really an important part of the budget of the house. Hey, if you're enjoying these updates, make sure you check in regularly. Tell a friend about them and subscribe to EL Home. Mm -hmm.